A question recently came up about scaling with precision in Moto, so I decided to make a video about the absolute scaling tool. So I'm going to create a unit cube, so I'll hold control and click on the cube button, and that gives us a cube. Uh, it's a one meter by one meter by one meter cube. Uh, if I want to see the dimensions in the 3D viewport, I can come over to view and turn on the dimensions tool, and if I have this selected, uh, in either items mode or uh, polygons mode, we can see uh, the actual uh, measurements here. So one meter, one meter, one meter. Now if I want to change this to uh, let's say half a meter, I can press R for scale and I can just scale this uniformly uh, by 50%. So I'll turn on my gang uh, edit to equals, so uh, we're copying all of these uh, values, so 50 and that gives us 500 millimeters because we just uh, halved our scale in the X, Y, and Z channels. Now, what if I want this to be specifically uh, a 261 millimeter uh, cube in all dimensions? So I can just scale this down, and you'll notice that I'm. This is all guesswork. I, it's hard to kind of hit that exact uh, measurement, 261 millimeters. Uh, I could hold Control and with the gang edit uh, icon set to copy, holding control and clicking on the little slider will allow us to kind of more precisely uh, get to 261 millimeters, but this is far from ideal and we're still, we managed to do it, but it's not the most, uh, it's not the best way to kind of achieve that. And also we can't have uh, millimeters in the uh, input, the numeric input fields of the uh, scale tool properties. So I'm going to show you another way. I'll just undo this, and this is where absolute scaling uh, comes into play. So I'm going to press Q to drop my scale tool. I'm going to click on the Snaps and Precisions button in the basic side tab, and I'll pin the Snaps and Precision uh, panel, and then I'll come down to absolute scaling. That brings up this little window, and if I click grab size, it just lets us know that this is uh, uniformly 335 millimeters in X, Y, and Z. And that corresponds to our dimensions tool. So if I were to uh, scale this, whoops, uh, let me just fire off my scale tool. Now we have 767.15 millimeters. If I grab the size, we can see that it updates here. If I scale this non-uniformly, so I'll just scale it a little bit in the X and I'll make it taller in the Y, and then I click grab scale, we can see these numbers now correspond to the explicit uh, scale input boxes or input fields. So what if I want this to be 261 millimeters in the X, Y, and Z? Well, I could just uh, put that in the explicit numeric input fields, so 261 millimeters and I'll choose explicit scale. And now uh, we have exactly 261 millimeters for each of these uh, axes, these scale uh, dimensions. So let's say I want this uh, box to be one meter in Y and I want it to be uh, 0.5 meters, so 500 millimeters in the X and Z. I can just type it in here and then click explicit scale. And there we have it. So the absolute scaling tool is great for getting precision uh, when you're scaling in Moto.